The United Nations peacekeeping chief has strongly condemned the suicide attack in the northern Malian city of Gao. About 50 people were reportedly killed and dozens wounded in that attack. Addressing the Security Council, Jave Latsuo called this a direct attack on the peace process. UN correspondent Liling Tan tells us more. The scheduled Security Council session on the UN's mission in Mali was overshadowed Wednesday by the suicide attack inside a military base in Gao. The military camp was used by government soldiers and armed groups who conduct joint patrols under a UN-brokered peace deal. Now, the attack that occurred early Wednesday morning killed dozens and the Security Council has condemned it as a barbaric act for which the terrorist group El Murabitun has claimed responsibility. Addressing the 15-member council, a clearly frustrated UN peacekeeping chief, Hervé Latsus, said the objective behind the attack was to derail the peace process already at a critical juncture. He noted that little significant progress has been made in the 18 months following the signature of the Agreement for Peace and Reconciliation in Mali, and that raises questions about the will and commitment of its signatories. Latsus also asked the Council to consider imposing targeted measures against, against those violating the ceasefire and voluntarily impeding the peace process. Mali's Foreign Affairs Minister Abdoulaye Diop raised concerns about the humanitarian situation at home, a warning that terrorist groups in the Kadel region were hindering aid and social services, attacking civilians and conducting illicit activities to fuel a criminal economy. Council members have been concerned as well about the slow implementation of the peace deal, and the meeting served as a means to identify issues and priorities before the mission's mandate is due for renewal in June. Lilingtown, CGTN, New York.